Today's class is going to go over tax planning for the what I call the average person. So a lot of tax planning is directed towards business owners, to those who own rental activities. But we often hear, oh, somebody has a W-2. There's nothing I can really do for them in the tax planning area. And I hope to dispel that myth. Now, it is true that we're able to do less than for a business or rental owner, but we definitely have opportunities to provide potential savings through smart strategies throughout the person's life. Now, before we get into the planning strategies that we're going to talk about through childhood, adulthood, and retirement, those are the three phases of life we're going to discuss, I want to talk a little bit about tax planning and how it differs from tax preparation. And it, in my view, it absolutely is. Tax preparation is recording what happened on the return correctly. Tax planning is proactively working with the client to change their future. Nobody likes tax prep if you are a client. They, it's a chore they do not enjoy for most people. We think we enjoy it because we're tax people, but the average person doesn't, right? Planning people like because it provides value. It helps them build wealth. It allows them to use the law as it was written. And that's what Judge Leonard Hand said in this case back in the 30s. I always start my tax planning classes with this because sometimes people feel it could be wrong or that it feels weird to help people pay less to the treasury. But as the judge said, Anyone can arrange their affairs so that their taxes are as low as possible. They do not have to choose the pattern which will best pay the treasury. There is not even a patriotic duty to increase one's taxes. Congress writes the law. We are simply with planning using the law in our client's best interest. <laughs> 